Good evening and welcome to tonight's latest news bulletin live from this news center of the South Anat of Oman television. But first, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq holds a meeting at Bahjat al Anbar in Suhar with a number of sheikhs from the governorates of North Al Batina and Al Zahira and Al Buremi. His Majesty gives directives to implement development projects in addition to the project approved in the 10th five year plan with more than 650 million Omani rials. And His Majesty directs uh, to increase the financial liquidity for the development budget uh, allocations for this year by an amount of 200 million Omani rials. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq has kindly met this morning with a number of sheikhs from the governorates of North Al Batina, Zahira, and Al Buremi at Beit Bahjat Al Anbari in the Wilaya of Suhar. His Majesty reviewed a number of issues related to future projects and plans in the after mentioned governorate, stressing the importance of complementary work between the government and citizens, each in their own field. His Majesty also gave directives uh, to the implementation of development projects in addition to the projects approved in the 10th five-year plan 2021-2025 with more than 650 million rials to be implemented during the remaining years of the current five-year plan on various development sectors in addition to increasing the financial liquidity for the development budget allocations for this year by an amount of 200 million rials bringing the total amounts allocated for disimbursement to 1 billion and 100 million rials. These generous directives come within the framework of His Majesty's high interest in promoting economic growth, continuing the provisions of services complementing, completing infrastructure, supporting private sector activities and providing more job opportunities for citizens. After that, His Majesty listened in an open dialogue to what the sheikhs of the the three governorates expressed regarding the issues related to the affairs of their wilayas and related some of the services and development projects that they aspire to accomplish. The meeting was attended along with His Majesty by His Highness Sayyid the Yazin bin Haytham Al Said, Minister of Culture, Sports and Youth, His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal Al Musaidi, Minister of the Diwan of the Royal Court, His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed Al Nu'mani, Minister of Royal Office, His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal Al Musaidi, Minister of Interior, His Excellency Sultan bin Salim Al Habsi, Minister of Finance, His Excellency Dr. Hamad bin Saeed Al Oufi, Head of the Private Office and their excellencies, the governors and the wallies of these governorates. Based on the royal directives of His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq to add additional projects to the 10th five-year development plan 2021-2025, the Minister of Finance is pleased to announce such projects as follows. Health Sector, al Nama Hospital in North al Sharqiya Governorate, Samail Hospital in al Governorate, Al-Falah Hospital in South al Sharqiya Governorate, Housing Sector, Completing the compensations payments for properties affected by the Baltina Coastal Road project. Transport sector, Diba Lima Khasab Road and link uh, it uh, to Kumzar in Musandam Governorate. Dualization of Ansab Jefnain Road, second phase. Completion of Al Baltina Coastal Road, first phase. 
Improving roads of Burj al Sahwa roundabout and the intersections of Al Mawala expansion of Maskat Expressway, dualization of Al Kamil Wal Wafi Jalan Bani Bu Ali Road. Completion of uh, Mehlah Ghubrat At Tam Ismaya Road, paving the road of Makshin, improving traffic flow in Salana. Tourism sector, the Hariz Beach waterfront development in the far governorate. Al Ashkara waterfront development. Development of tourist facilities and water ponds at Wadi Bani Khalid. Municipal sectors, rehabilitation of Wadi courses in the far governorate. Storm water drainage projects in Muscat Governorate. Education sector, finalizing the process of constructing 76 government schools. Aviation sector, Hasab Airport first phase. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad al Busaidi, the Foreign Minister, held a meeting with their Excellencies, the Honorary Councils of the Sultanate of Oban from Portugal, Slovakia, Zimbabwe, Manila, Monaco, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Milan, Munich, and Lithuania. During the meeting, they discussed ways to enhance cooperation and partnership opportunities between the Sultanate of Oman and the countries in which they represent Oman that can be focused on with on with these countries. Their Excellencies were also briefed on the Sultanate of Oman's pavilion now at the Expo 2020 Dubai. His Excellency Qais bin Mohammed Al Yusuf, Minister of Commerce, Industry and Investments Promotion, received in his office today Her Excellency Lies G. Shirin Mancha, Minister for Foreign Trade and Development Cooperation of the Netherlands. The two sides reviewed the advanced relations between the two countries and discussed prospects for trade and investments cooperation in the sectors of food industries, logistics, parts, water, resources, hydrogen, and others. They also explored means of uh, augmenting the volume of trade exchange between the Sultanate of Oman and the Kingdom of Netherlands as well as highlighting the investments in business climate in both countries. They also touched upon means of alluring Dutch companies to invest in the Sultanate of Oman. Strong relations bind the Sultanate of Oman with the People's Republic of China and the existing cooperation between the two friendly countries were discussed by His Excellency Khalid bin Hilal al Ma'wali, Chairman of Shura Council, while meeting virtually with His Excellency Wang Yang, Chairman of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. The meeting praised the results of exchange visits of both countries and their effect on enhancing aspects of bilateral cooperation in various economic fields and encourage investments in addition to cooperation in the scientific and cultural fields which expected to witness huge growth uh, in the coming phase. His Excellency the Chairman of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference confirms uh, to encourage major companies in his countries to expand their investments in the Sultanate of Oman. The Nizwa Fort Festival was inaugurated in the Governorate of Adakhaliya with the participation of more than 300 government uh, institutions, small and medium-sized enterprises, craftsmen and folklore groups. The festival aims to highlight the ancient Omani heritage through displaying handicrafts, exhibitions and various cultural events. It comes within the plan of the Ministry of Heritage and Tourism to implement various activities in the Governorates that contribute to the recovery of the tourism sector. It's it's worth mentioning that the festival uh, will be continued until 26 of March 2022. International News. A Chinese aviation official said today that one of the two black box flight data recorders had been found in severely damaged conditions two days after a China Eastern flight crashed in southern China with 132 people on board. The device is so damaged that investigators were not able to tell whether it is the flight data recorder or the cockpit voice recorder. An official said that an all-out effort is being made to find the other black box. Recovering the so-called 
called the black boxes is considered the key to figuring out what caused the crash. The search for clues into why Chinese commercial jetliner dove suddenly and crashed into a mountain in southern China had been suspended earlier today as rain slickened the debris field and filled the red, 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 red a dirt gash formed by the plane's fury impact. Search crews works to pump water from the pit created with the plane hit the ground, but their efforts were suspended around mid-morning because small landslides were possible on the steep, slick slopes. Ukrainians continued to cross the border into Poland today as the Russian invasion of Ukraine continued. The people crossing the border into Poland said there is almost no one left in Kharkiv. Nearly one month has passed since the biggest land invasion in Europe since World War II and there have been no major breakthroughs on the battlefield or the negotiating table. Ukraine's capital Kiev shook earlier today with Russian shelling that sparked fires in high-rise buildings injuring four people in Kiev's uh, suburbs, artillery thunders as Ukrainian forces fought tooth and nail to hold back the Russian invasion. Russian bombs destroyed a critical bridge that had connected Ukraine's encircled city of Chernihiv to the capital and allowed aid to get inside. The United Nations Refugee Agency said more than 3.6 million people have fled Ukraine since Russia's invasion. A tornado tore through parts of Orleans and its suburbs last night, uh, flipping cars, ripping roofs of homes and killing at least one person in a region that was uh, pummeled by Hurricane Katrina 17 years ago. Parts of St. Bernard Parish, uh, which uh, borders New Orleans to the southeast, appeared to take the brunt of the weather fury and that is where so far single fatality occurred. A video from RAB Louisiana is about of New Orleans showed numerous wrecked homes and vehicles. Residents said the storm was powerful and came through quickly. The damage comes after other tornadoes spawned by the Sam storm system hit parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Once again, back here in the Sultanate of Oman, the University of Technology and Applied Sciences in Rostock held a ceremony to confer the degree to its 2021 graduates. More in this particular report. In a jubilant atmosphere, the University of Technology and Applied Sciences in Rostock celebrated the graduation of the 2021 class of graduates from Information Technology international business administration and teacher preparation programs very interesting to be a member in this college and actually it's hard to to describe how do we feel right now and i think it's time to celebrate the hard work that led to this joyful occasion Today we celebrate uh, completing five years of hard work at this great university and uh, it was really a wonderful journey and we dedicate this uh, achievement to our families and to our country also. Overwhelmed with foremost joy and happiness, the graduates expressed their pride to reach this stage. I'm really glad to be here today celebrating with my friends and teachers and in this uh, big day I would like to share my happiness and achievement with my beloved family. Thank you Rostock College, thank you Business Department, thank you all. I can't express my feelings at the moment where I've been we're in this moment for long hard years and thanks God all these uh, years uh, have paid off. Okay, uh, I'd like to thank my parents family uh, who stood uh, by my side all along the journey. Uh, we do not forget our professors who guided us and who, who like eased the way um, to whom we become uh, today. Of the 476 graduates, 95 majored in chemistry, 71 in physics, 83 in biology, 92 in mathematics, 70 in English, 10 in information technology and 55 in business administration. 
savoring the taste of their triumph. The graduates stand with inspiration to dream bigger and accomplish further goals and aspirations. From the University of Technology and Applied Sciences in Arusta, Salah Bakalfan Rahbi, South Al Batina, Governor. It's indeed uh, great to see our uh, youth uh, graduating from different majors. The University of Technology and Applied Sciences in Salalah has celebrated the 12th class graduation in a new educational achievements for University of Technology and Applied Sciences, UTAS. The 12th batch has graduated with elegance and honor. This joyful graduation ceremony included speeches by the Dean of the College and the students. Then the certificates were distributed for different study disciplines. All graduates have expressed their joy and said that this graduation is memorable to them. Here in Muscat Muscat Municipality, in cooperation with the Ministry of Health, continued to combat mosquitoes and flying insects as part of their plan to cover all areas and neighborhoods of Muscat Governorate. The program aims to investigate mosquitoes' breeding places and achieve the principle of environmental sanitation spraying for work and spatial control of these sites in cooperation with the society efforts and supporting team works. The plan also targets the sanitary disposal of the household solid waste and and all forms of stagnant water gatherings around homes to remove the breeding sites and supervise the tight coverage of water tanks whether on the rooftops or ground tanks. The Royal Hospital celebrated two World Adolescent Health Week with the aim of spreading awareness of the health of young people for a healthy and successful transition to adulthood. The event included a visual presentation of the importance of this week and the role of the Adolescent Medicine Unit in the hospital in placing the Sultanate of Oman on the international map for adolescent health in addition to an awareness presentation on psychotropic substances and their risks. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and to conclude this news bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq holds a meeting at Bahjat al Anbar in Suhar with a number of sheikhs from the governorates of North al Batina, al Zahira, and al Buremi. His Majesty gives directives to implement uh, development uh, projects in addition to the projects approved in the 10th uh, five-year plan with more than 650 million Omani Rials. And His Majesty directs uh, to increase the financial liquidity for development per budget allocations for this year by an amount of 200 million Omani Rials. And with that, our viewers, we do conclude this news bulletin brought to you live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. From the entire news team and myself, we thank you for joining us. Wish you a pleasant evening and good night.